Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous day in the garden. Um, today we're trying something a little different. It still kind of hurts HOA to come down to the studio because his leg is recovering from total knee replacement. So I am trying shooting today by myself. We have three cameras rolling and me. So <laughs> I hope this works. Um, okay. <laughs> Last week you saw a pork which was a wandering straight pour on a negative space background with the Payne's Gray and we used the Payne's Gray and that iridescent sterling silver and the aquamarine and we used a bluish green or the greenish blue from Amsterdam. So today I want to try that again. I want to do a ring pour though out of a split cup and I have taken out the greenish blue from the color palette. So let me show you what those are real quick. The first one we're using is of course Golden's Payne's Gray. Everything is mixed with mix pour tonight. You can get your mix by messaging Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and she will hook you up. So first Payne's Gray, nice and thick, leaving a mound on a mound and then sinking after a second. Okay, the next one we're using is this one that's new for me. This is Golden's Iridescent Stainless Steel Fine. Pretty cool color. Here we go. Nice and thick and creamy, leaving a mound on a mound before it sinks into itself. Okay, and then we are using Folk Art Treasure Gold Series in Aquamarine. This is a, yes, Aquamarine. That's this one. Beautiful, nice and thick, leaving a mound on a mound. This one actually might be a little thick, which is weird. <laughs> and then last but not least, I am using Golden's Iridescent Pearl with a tiny bit of Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in it. Okay, so I'm excited. Let's get started. Uh, this is a repurposed canvas. I have painted it Payne's Gray, so that's ready to go. Uh, okay, we're using the 16 ounce split cup. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six chambers in it. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to put Payne's Gray on both ends. Can you guys see? Yeah. So we're just going to go straight Payne's Gray on one side and then straight Payne's Gray on the other side as well. And then I'm going to put some in one of the middle chambers as well. The question is which one? Well, let's do this first. Let's come in. I want to use the Aquamarine next to the Payne's Gray for sure. So let's do that. And then I think I want the white. I'm going to put a little bit of Payne's Gray in the bottom of this one. About halfway. And then I'm going to put the pearl on top of that. Okay, that one's a little full. Put that iridescent stainless steel on the other side of the white. And I think I'm going to come back to the aquamarine on the other side. Okay. That's a pretty looking cup. A little messy on top, but that's okay. <laughs> It'll be alright. So I also have here Payne's Gray. Now everything, the colors are all mixed with mix, but this base coat, flow extender, I have mixed up with Liquitex Gloss Medium, a little bit of GAC 800, and water and Floetrol with the Payne's Gray. So, let's see. We're going to pour a puddle of this in the center, and we're going to do a ring pour. We'll use that as our flow extender afterwards. All right, Let's make sure we're centered. There we go. Oh my gosh, I miss saying it. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? But he is ready. <laughs> Everything is ready and rolling and prepared, so he's always ready, even when he's not right here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a ring pour. Now. 
brighter at the end it gives you more dimension Take our flow extender and we're going to go around this now because we don't want it to roll over itself. We want it to slide nice and easy. Flow extender is a thinner consistency than the paint that I put on the canvas. Let's go over these edges, but the edges are already painted, so I'm not worried about it at all. And we are going to tilt this. Okay. Let's wipe that off. It's so funny, I'm nervous without HOA. <laughs> He's doing really good though. I'm really proud of him. He's been pushing himself with the physical therapy, which I know has been hellacious, but he's a trooper. Let's torch this. Now after painting the canvas, I would like to leave some negative space on here. So we might lose some of this. This is really, really pretty. And I'm loving the contrast between the aquamarine and the panes with the iridescent stainless steel in there, especially. And I really like this too. Let's tilt this around a little bit. See where the wave paint is, where it wants to go, how it wants to move. Okay, let me go down this way first. that over the edge and then come back. And turn this around. I'm gonna take it back down to the middle. stretch this out. And I'm gonna go this side. It's so weird that this like strip is moving faster. this over here on this edge. So I'm going to take it back down. That's so weird. And it's moving that way. Hmm. Like it's much thicker there in the center. I think it's the aquamarine. It's probably thicker than everything else. Like that. 
I might lose some of that there at the bottom. I'm okay with that. that center of the ring pour. So that's okay. And let that go. And open up the pool part. We don't want a lot of extra paint on here anyway, so. And that looks pretty cool for me. I do like it, and then there's parts that I don't like. This feels a little bit overstretched, but it still looks really cool. I do like the Payne's Gray with the iridescent graphite. Hmm. I think I want to pour a little bit again. There's still a little bit of paint left in here, but I don't think I'm going to use all the chambers. I'm going to put some pearl white in the middle one. About halfway. And then I'm going to put that iridescent blue, or stainless steel about halfway. And I'm going to put some of the Payne's Gray on the side. on the other side. I think I'm going to skip the aquamarine this time. And I think we're going to do a straight pour. Okay, here we go. Didn't want to stop. All right, we have to fix that, unfortunately. Squiggle I can do. Squiggle fix it. No problem. All right. Let's torch that. That's actually really pretty though. Okay. So we're gonna 
walk this down and stretch it out. taking some extra paint off. You see where it's moving really fast? That's our flow extender base coat. And I don't want to leave a lot of it on there. feeling like I need to take this off and let that open up, but I like this part. really pretty that iridescent uh, stainless steel is beautiful very sparkly kind of I love the depth against that Payne's gray and I really like the aquamarine in there and I'm loving what the iridescent pearl is doing so I could go back and forth and pour this like 16 times so just because that's really fun for me to to actually pour it and see what happens but I do like what's happening here I love all this gradation of that smoky blue gray with the iridescent stainless steel and the panes mixed together is really, really pretty. A lot of beautiful lines. I love this edge right there with the panes with that pearl coming through. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave this one how it is. <laughs> we'll see how it dries and I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight with me um, and HOA in spirit. <laughs> He's probably gonna laugh at me when we're uploading this, but anyways. I'm gonna give this one more quick torch. And then I'm gonna go over 
Heritage HOA's camera. Let's see if we can't get a nice close up for you guys. pretty doggone cool. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna stop there. Let me zoom out again. You can see the whole thing. There we go. Alright, this was awesome. I'll show you guys when it's dry. Okay, so this is a few days later and it is totally dry now. I really like this piece. I think it's so cool. That these lines in here are just amazing. The do Ooh, wait a minute, what happened? The depth between those different layers of the rings are just really, really beautiful. That's the Payne's Gray in there, and the stainless steel, and the aquamarine. There's this beautiful strip of aquamarine right along here. It's just glowing. It's so pretty. And these lines, I'm just like, oh! <laughs> just beautiful. Very cool. This is remnants of the first pour which I actually think look really cool stretched out. This part is really beautiful right there. I like this one. I like it a lot. I love that pearl popping through the Payne's Gray. It's really, really beautiful. So an interesting observation, the two corners of negative space actually look not as shiny. And that's because I had a lot more Floetrol in the base coat flow extender color really really pretty beautiful stuff so this one reminds me of uh, what's that saying of throwing a stone in a pond and the ripples and the ripples affecting other things and so I think this one is gonna be ripple effect I do really like this piece a lot hello Gail she's blown and blown but I have tied the painting to the easel so she can't have it ha ha <laughs> Anyways, this was awesome. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Um, I really hope that you, if you get a chance, you get to check out fluidartexperience.com and come and see us in Dallas. Come and paint with us. I'm going to be doing ring pours and straight pours and wandering ring pours and wandering straight pours. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to talking with all of you. Um, I did put a post up in the community tab today and also on my Facebook art page about what would you like to learn? What do you want me to teach you? So if you guys have any suggestions, I mean, I have some ideas for a curriculum of my own, but I really do want you guys to feel like you're getting your most, the most out of this that you can. So I want to know what you want to learn. Alrighty. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you guys real soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Say it twice.